You all know how much we love showing our animals in videos, but today, Pepe becomes a star. Cue the intro! So that's right, our Tegu named Pepe, who we just recently discovered was a girl, is going to be in some sort of shoot for either a movie or a series. I don't really know the details right now, but basically the company I work for asked if I had any tame lizards that know how to follow directions, and I couldn't think of a better candidate than Pepe right here. So we are gonna pack her up, and then we are going to bring her to Montreal in order to do the shoot. So let's go and do that already. So while we're stopping for gas, we're gonna check on Pepe because of course we wanna make sure she's all right during the trip, so let's go do that. As you can see, here's Roxanne putting the gas now and we're gonna check on Pepe. Hello, girl. Are you doing okay? Yeah, are you doing okay? Yes, you're pretty. You know you're pretty? Yeah, don't eat the phone, please. So now that we got some gas and that we've checked on Pepe, we are gonna keep going. So here we are in Montreal. We just dropped Pepe off at Magazoo. Unfortunately, I don't have the permission to go and film all around inside and in, in the basement of the facility, but I can assure you she's doing great. We set her up ourselves. We are going to update you. I'll see you then. This morning I went to the shop to see Pepe and we got her out to go see rocks because I wanted her to get to see Pepe before she started work. Pepe leaped off my shoulder and I went to grab her. She lost her tail. A little bit. Not this long. It's really sad. And I never want any of my animals to suffer. All I wanted to do was some positive today. I wanted to get her out. I wanted to show her the shop, all the animals and all of the terrariums. And obviously it just happened like maybe 10 minutes ago and um, I'm still a little shook about it but I wanted to tell you about it because Pepe is one of our most iconic animals and you guys are the reason why we keep doing this and I just had to get this off my chest she looked fine she was moving totally normal so maybe she's fine maybe she just lost her tail but even just that makes me really sad as well I'll let you guys go for now but I'll keep you updated on what happens with Pepe for the next few weeks. Now quickly before you guys go, I wanted to stop you for a second and update you. It's now been over a week since the incident happened. She's okay. She's doing fine. She's eating. She's doing well. Her wound is closing up nicely. It's looking good. I just want to leave you guys with a note of positivity and tell you that next video is going to be an absolute crazy one. We are totally taking things to a new level. It's going to be amazing. It's not all negative. It's a thing that happens with tegus, you know? Tegus lose their tail, and that's just their, their thing, you know? I really like working with animals that don't lose their tails exactly for that reason. Monitors are one of my favorite to work with because they don't lose their tail, and you can actually interact with them with the tail. I'm not saying pull the tail back. I'm saying you can hold it, right? And you can be sure that nothing is going to happen. Tegus, you know, when they're doing stressy things and you just touch it they can drop it like that and that's kind of what happened and just kind of detached right you'll see the wound in the next video guys it's not that bad and you know most tegus will lose their tail right and it really does suck because we did want her to be a perfect tegu that you know was untouched and we've had her since she was about this long and it's really sad because we were the ones that took care of her and raised her up. But unfortunately, now the only thing that we can do is assess and make sure that she gets better. Okay, now I'm wrapping up the video for real. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. And don't be sad, you know. it's These are things that happen. And um, we're, just, we're just trying to get through it. It's our responsibility. You guys don't have to be sad about it. But if you want to leave some nice comments to Pepe, in the description, I'll make sure I'll read them. I can even make a video reading her, your comments, if there's enough, you know? So anyway, that's all for next time. I'll see you later, everybody.